Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 13, Lesson 3. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can use an understanding of place value to round decimals to a given place. And the learning objective is to round decimals to any place. Prior learning is that students read and wrote multi-digit whole numbers using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. Students used place value understanding to round multi-digit whole numbers to any place. So moving into the lesson, we're on page 327. We have a spark your learning that says in car racing, times are measured to the nearest thousandth second. The time it takes 10 cars to make one lap around a short track is shown. And then it gives us a little chart underneath. So it's it has in blue all 10 cars and in the white it has their times. So then underneath it, it says sort the cars into the boxes using the time for each car to the nearest second. So when it's asking for the nearest second, it's asking us for the nearest whole number or going to the ones place. So underneath we have three boxes that say 14 seconds, 15 seconds, and 16 seconds. So we're just going to organize which cars go in which box by rounding it to the nearest ones place or whole number. So if we look at car number one, it says 15.2. When we round with a decimal, it works pretty much the exact same way as rounding with whole numbers, right? If you had um, 16 and you wanted to round it up, you would say it would go to 20 because our number is five or higher goes up or four or lower goes and stays at that number. So we would be looking at the next digit into the tenths place of the number right next door after the decimal. Is that five or higher? Then it would go up to the next whole number. Or if it's not, just keep it at the number it's at. So 15.2, two is pretty small, so we're going to keep it at 15 seconds. That would be rounding to that nearest second. So what we're going to do is we are going to put car one right here. Now moving down to car two, we have 14 point, and this is 834, really all we need is that eight. That eight is bigger than five, so it's going to push us up into the next whole number, so it is going to push us into that 15 second mark. So we're also going to put car two in this box. Now car three says 16.43, and again, all we need to look at is the point four. That is lower than five, so it's gonna keep us at 16. So we're gonna put car three here. All right, car four says 15.099. Looking at the zero, we know that we're just gonna stay at 15. So then we're gonna put car four here. Car five is 15.8. Point A is high enough to bring us up to 16. So car five going in 16. Car six is 14.44 is less than the five, so it's gonna keep us at that 14 second mark, so that's gonna be car six. Car seven is 15.5, remember it's five or higher. So we did meet that five, so that does bump us up into the 16 second mark. So that car seven, Car eight is 14.4, remember less than five, keeps us at that number, so that is gonna stay at 14. So car eight here. Car nine is 16.0, just keep it at 16. So car nine. And then car 10 is 14.5, five or higher, so 14 is gonna be bumped up to 15. So car 10 is gonna be under the 15 mark. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. Now we're on 328. Number one says, in a long track car race, a driver's lap time was 28.266, or practicing saying it correctly would be 28 and 266 thousandth seconds. So label the tick marks. Show where the driver's time can be represented on the number line. So if we're looking at the number line, we already have 28.2, and at the very end, it's 28.3. So we we have each end, we have tenths. 
which means the tick marks in between are going to be going to the hundredths place value. And then you want to mark the thousandths as close as you can in between your two hundredths. Hopefully that helps you get it independently. For A, it says, how could you divide the space between each pair of tick marks to show thousandths? So right now we're splitting it up into hundreds. How would we show thousandths if we needed to? For B, how can you determine to which hundredths second the, t- the driver's time is closer, round 28.266 or 28 and 266 thousandths seconds to the nearest hundredth? So if you rounded it to the nearest hundredth, what would it be? And then for C, how can you determine to which tenth second the driver's time is closer? So round your 28 and 266 thousandths to the nearest tenth. So in B, you're rounding it to the hundredths place, but C, you're rounding to the tenths place. So that'll be the last digit in your number. All right, go ahead and try these few problems and then come back and we'll solve them together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and solve these together. So my numbers are going to get kind of crammed. So what I'm going to do back and forth is I'm going to just show different colors just so my numbers don't start blending together. So because it starts out in black, the next number I'm going to do, I'm just going to go between blue and black. So right now I have 28.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to count by one. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm just going to be adding those numbers at the end of the two until the 29 turns into a three or 30. So it's going to be 28.21. And then the black is going to be 28.22, And you're getting the pattern here now. Skipped one. 28.26. 28 and last one will be 28.29. Okay, and just checking over my work, I have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Next one would be 30. Okay. So then it's asking us to mark where 0.266 would be. So on this line, it's going to be between our 26 and 27. So it's going to be on this line here. And if it's at 6, it would be a little bit past half. So I'm going to say about right there is where my um, point of this is going to be. All right, moving on to A, it says, how could you divide the space between each pair of tick marks to show thousands? Just like we did, I kind of just imagined there were 10 tick marks between my 26 and my 27, and that I knew six was just past half because half would be five. So what I'm going to do is divide each by 10. So divide each tick space into 10 pieces. For B, how can you determine to which hundredth second the driver's time is closer? So we're, it's asking us to round 28 and 266 thousandths to the nearest hundredth number. So I'm gonna be rounding to the hundredths, which means I'm gonna go next door and look at that number. My number is six in the thousandths place, which means it is big enough to bump my six hundredths into a seven. So it would be 28 point and it would be two seven. So whatever place value it's asking us for, that's going to be the last digit that you write. So I'm ending in the hundredths place value. All right. Then the next problem is asking us to do the same thing, but we're rounding to the tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and underline the number just for my own um, memory, which number I'm rounding it to. So I'm going to be rounding to the two. Go next door. It's also a six, which means that six has enough power to bump the two to a three. 
So this number would just be 28.3. And remember, whatever place value it's asking us to round to is the last number that you're going to end in. So it's asking us to round to the nearest tenth. When I say my number, it would be 28 and 3 tenths. So I'm ending where it's asking me to when I'm rounding. All right, go ahead and use this to answer the rest of your problems in this lesson, and I'll see you back here for Module 13, Lesson 4.